Good boy. There you go. Look at that, that clamp is just... Poor Kiri in here literally suffered for probably 20 plus years. Oh, you missed it. And I'm not saying that anyone should just jump in with alligators like this size and get this close to them. That's probably not the best idea. We think there's a possibility it could have been chained up or something like that, and as it grew, it actually got restricted. You don't make that sound, because you can't find mom, but she's watching and she's listening, and she will chase you right out of the park. Welcome to the vlog. Look at how absolutely amazing Pepper is looking. We are actually heading to Athens, Michigan to Critchlow's Alligator Sanctuary to play with some alligators. And we're at Chrislow's Alligator Sanctuary here in Athens, Michigan. This place is absolutely incredible. I mean, take a look at these alligators. They have about 170, 180 alligators here. Who would think that there is an alligator sanctuary in Michigan? So we're gonna get a chance to meet some little guys, big guys, feed some stuff, have an absolutely great time. And if you guys remember, RJ's brother, Mitchie, is actually here too. So we're gonna get a chance to see him too. So uh, I don't know, I love this place. I enjoy every minute that I'm here. And it's an absolutely gorgeous day. We're gonna have some fun messing with some alligators. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it. Guys, take a look. I spotted him off in the distance. Hi, buddy. How are you? Hey, how What's are going you? On? Of course, this is a Salcata tortoise, just like my guy Speedy that lives in our backyard. And look at, I love how they actually will bury themselves. They dig so much that he actually has dirt on top of his shell, which is cool. What's going on, buddy? What's your name? My name's Carl. It is so good to meet you. I hope you have an amazing day. Where should I go look here? Is there something that you really like to see first? This Come guy check here? out my boy Wild, okay. the Nile cool. Crocodile. Oh, this is a Nile Crocodile, you say? Awesome. All right, well, hey, buddy, you have a good time. We'll catch up with you later, right? All right, yeah. bye. You guys know that I love to be inside, and I've got Medusa right over here. We have Godzilla over there. Absolutely gorgeous alligator. Of course, she's ready to get some food. How you doing, little girl? What Medusa. Medusa, what are you doing, silly monkey? It's okay, little girl. Medusa. Hey little girl. Hi, you're so beautiful, girl. She's just begging, basically. She's just begging. Yeah. She's like, give me food. Yeah. Come on, little She's monkey. Very... I know what you want. Yes, Medusa. Do you want to go up and get some food? Medusa. Come on, Medusa. How awesome is this? I mean, it's so cool. I mean, again, I work with a lot of crocodilians, but every time I get in with them, I love the fact that it's like you're in with a little dinosaur. And these guys are well, very well trained. You can see, it's got all the way over here. She knows she's gonna get food, and these guys work with them. They feed Missouri Medusa. crocodile chow. Come, come on, come on, Medusa. Come on, good girl. Come on, good girl. There you go. How unbelievably amazing. And I tell you, what, this is just for anyone that thinks that crocodilians are killers or something like that, that proves, I mean, it's just amazing the relationship you have with this animal and all the animals in that matter. And she's so gentle and so beautiful, you know? We've had her about 12 years, and when we got her, she was not gentle. No, yeah, you had to get She was get, one, get, probably one of the most aggressive animals that we've ever had. Oh my gosh, you just have to yeah. gain that trust and really get her to get that way. So, wow, that's amazing. And of course, Godzilla's over here, so we're gonna go take a look at this monster. He's a big one. What? Godzilla. Godzilla. Godzilla up. Good boy. There you go. Look at that, that clamp is just, I love that alligator clap. I mean, it's just unbelievable. What a gorgeous animal. Again, another one that's unbelievably well behaved. There you go. Godzilla. He just disappears. That's unbelievable. I mean, how cool is that? I love it. It's funny, they have like a stick in there and they're playing with it almost like it's a dog toy. It's so crazy. Dude, I love alligators. I love crocodilians. They're unbelievable. I could do this all day, right? It's freaking cool. It's so crazy to be this close to a dinosaur. <laughs> I'm David Critchlow. I'm the owner of Critchlow Alligator Sanctuary, located in Athens, Michigan, where we rescued unwanted or undesired or in poor conditioned uh, crocodilians 
we are specialists at working with those animals. So right now we have currently over 150, usually taking in anywhere from 15 to 30 every year. This is Jaws. So if you look at his head, you'll notice that he has kind of an underbite on the side of his head. So the thing that's great about Krishlo's Alligator Sanctuary is the fact that these are all rescues. That, again, there's about 170 animals. They basically on, take up, animals in that on, are either confiscated, not cared for properly, whatever the case may be, and they uh, get them healthy, they treat them great, they train them up, and of course they give them a forever home. That's one of the reasons I love this place so much. So this is actually Tyrion. Here, buddy. You watch the Game of Thrones. And believe it or not, this guy here is older than Godzilla. That's right, that big alligator we saw. This guy is actually older than it. And the deal is, is that someone kept this in a basement, a small place, probably wasn't feeding it properly, didn't get any kind of lights or any kind of growth. I remember when this first came in here and it really looked extremely thin and its head was really big. Now it's looking absolutely beautiful. Definitely has put on some size. Oh yeah. There's no doubt about He's that. He's grown about 10 inches in two years. About 10 inches in two years, which is yeah. really a lot for an animal this size. So he's doing really well, but believe it or not, that's what happens when you're not taking care of an animal. And that's the thing when I talk about whatever you're getting, whether it's a reptile, a mammal, whatever it is. Poor Tyrion here literally suffered for probably 20 plus years. Now it's absolutely enjoying life and is an absolutely amazing animal, but you just hate to see something like that. I mean, alligators really aren't pets, people, you know? So I think a lot of people get them, they think they're cute as babies. And as they get older, uh, you know, listen, it's not fair to the animal to not give it what it actually needs, which is a lot of food, a lot of room, a lot of attention. So uh, Tyrion uh, is gonna live his life here and hopefully grow into a nice, beautiful alligator. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, you missed it. Good boy. There you go. Now we get a chance to get into some uh, awesome animals in here. I love this. Look at this. These are kind of, you know, mid-sized animals. I mean, definitely, you know, six, seven, you know, footish range. Uh, and they're just kind of out here basking a little bit. This guy's about ready to go inside here. I think any of these guys are in. You want to eat, bud? You want to eat? Yep, you're ready. Come on, buddy. These are all females. Okay, they're all females. Yep, except for that one, right there. That's the boy. That's yep. the bull male. He huh? will not allow males in here. Yeah, he keeps that. He's the yep. bull, huh? <laughs> there you go, bud. There you go. There you go. There you go. There you go. Good job, sweetie. There you go. What amazing animals! I mean, I tell you what. And the thing that's to hear that. Wow, that's such an amazing yeah, thing that's right there. And I know it's so. Amazing. Do I know it? There you go, buddy. There you go. <laughs> I tell you what. And the thing is, is that, you know, they just are amazing animals. I've said that crocodilians are some of the easiest animals when it comes to reptiles to train because as long as you're giving them food rewards, they're absolutely going to do just about anything. And they're so used to it. They can become so habituated. But again, I'm not saying that anyone should just jump in with alligators like this size and get this close to them. That's probably not the best idea. But, you know, I've been around crocodilians for 25 years. So, uh, and, and alligators are the puppy dog of the crocodile world. I wouldn't be this close to a saltwater croc or now crocodile right now i can tell you that much but or at least if i was i was going to be ready to back up real good sitting around a bunch of these guys right now i feel completely safe i'm not worried whatsoever and they're absolutely incredible the chirp is the more common one and that's one you hear where they go oh, 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 oh. and it just means i'm nervous i'm excited it can also mean identification my smaller ones will do it around larger ones if they're like climbing out of the pond they're just identifying themselves it's also a distress call so in the wild if a little one is making that call it means mommy come protect me from the dangerous predator that's going to be attacking me when we do field research in the wild i never make that sound because you'll see cute little alligators coming around you don't make that sound because you can't find mom but she's watching and she's listening and she will chase you right out of the if you make that sound. So we kind of be respectful of that particular sound. They also make a purr, a growl. They'll do jaw slaps where they're putting their jaws together, making a real loud impact. They bellow in the water and they can blow bubbles out of the water too. So there's several different sounds. Each one means something a little bit different. It's fascinating to be able to learn and watch that behavior. So guys, right there, if you guys remember his name, Mitch, he used to be my alligator. And that's really how I met everyone here at Critchlow's Alligator Sanctuary is because I actually donated Mitch here. And basically what the deal was is I actually have RJ, RJ's brother, and then Mitchie came in a little bit later. I had three alligators, but of course we ended up just keeping RJ. But the deal is you can see it has kind of a restricted area on its tail. And we don't really know what happened, but something obviously grew around whatever was restricting it. We think there's a possibility it could have been chained up or something like that. And as it grew, it actually got restricted. He is doing absolutely amazing. When I brought Mitchie here, he was probably half that size. Of course, now he's about the same size as RJ. So it's really great 
to see him doing so well. His tail actually even looks better than ever. And whenever I get a chance to kind of come back and just see Mitchie, it just makes me so happy because I cared for that animal for about a year before I ended up donating him here. So I am thankful for a place like Critchlow's Alligator Sanctuary for taking in an animal that I cared so much about. So uh, it's always great to see him. There's another little enclosure, but these guys are like kind of the mid-sized animals, you know, maybe four coming up on five foot and uh, you can see there's quite a number of animals in here so I don't know I'm counting at least 30 or 40 in this enclosure but the enclosure goes pretty far it goes all the way over here there's another pond you can see there's actually some alligators that are all the way over here we can go take a quick look over here these guys look a little larger over here and what's probably happening is alligators have a really hierarchy right so when something is kind of that's their territory other alligators won't go I'm assuming this big guy over here is probably dominating this area and they're kind of staking things out and all the small ones are coming over here because they don't have to worry about kind of challenging that period over there. But it's just weird to think of again, an alligator, you know, plays like this in Michigan of all places. I love it. And I love the fact that that's kind of thing, right? Is that these guys had a vision to save alligators and they didn't let the fact that they were in a northern cold climate stop them. They ended up just doing it anyways. Now they do move these in to containers for hibernation during the winter time. But during the summer, they spend their entire summer out here. So. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of go hang out with these guys real quick. Our, our biggest event because we're under a lot more scrutiny because of incoming potential bad weather. We try to rush things along a little faster in the fall than we do in, in the spring when we're releasing all the animals out. But we'll have several hundred people here. Uh, we call it our fall roundup, which is located on our website. Now it says about that on our website at alligatorsanctuary.com. All kinds of cool information if you want to participate in that. Look over the details of being able to participate. We're changing it a little bit this year as well how we've done it in the past, but it's still an opportunity we're making available to folks. But it's, it's a lot of fun to be able to get in there and actually hold something a little bit more unusual than what you've done in the past. <laughs> Look at how cute these ones are. So the way they have it set up here is they have like elementary, then I think that there's actually a preschool now, which really small ones, and then it goes to grade school or middle school or something like that, then ultimately high school and maybe even a college. I'm not 100% sure. So it's pretty cool. So again, all the elementary animals, these little small little dudes over here are here and then they just kind of move up as they get older. And some of the animals that were elementary last year when I was here uh, are now in the middle school so they've gotten bigger but uh, it's cool how they do that here and again uh, it's amazing that this started with just a couple little ponds and has kind of grown into this massive facility with 170 plus alligators and much like the Reptera kids can come here and really do a lot of things they can feed the alligators just by throwing them in and stuff like that there's obviously a whole pond with a bunch of sliders in here so they can feed the sliders again I love the fact that it's really kid friendly much like the Reptera that is the future right educating kids to uh, love these animals as much as we do a little bird's eye view of the middle school right here. Again, that was the, the ones that we were just in kind of running around in for sure. And then this is the elementary over here. You get kind of an idea of the size of the property. It's uh, again, it's really absolutely cool. And what's crazy is everywhere you look, there are more alligators. I mean, we were just in this one, but I didn't even see this pond down here. Look at all these guys down here. These are separated from everything over here. There's some ponds over there. I mean, there's, there's animals everywhere. I mean, this is a true love of alligators. I, I love it. I love it when people are as passionate as these guys are. We're also gonna shoot a little virtual reality video here, just a short one, because I know a lot of you guys didn't really get into the virtual reality thing, so we're gonna do an extra. It's not gonna be a vlog, it's not gonna be a replacement of the vlog, but here in the next week or so, we'll launch like a three or four minute virtual reality. If you guys wanna see what it's like to feed alligators, let me know in the comments if you guys would be excited about that, and hopefully the fact that it's not replacing a vlog, you guys won't mind uh, the virtual reality. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. What an amazing time at Critchlow's Alligator Sanctuary. I love playing with these guys. If you enjoyed this here's another video of me playing with alligators an entire playlist i think you guys will enjoy over here you can subscribe and turn those post notifications on have a wonderful day and be kind to someone i promise i'm going to see you guys tomorrow